Hello and welcome to this video lecture on flame arresters. In this lecture, we will cover the following topics. First, we will discuss the processes and industries that use flame arresters. You will learn about the importance of using flame arresters in industries that involve flammable vapors and gases such as chemical, petrochemical, refining, oil exploration, sewage treatment, and power generation. Next, we will discuss the principle of flame arrestor. You will learn how flame arresters work to prevent the propagation of flames through equipment. We will discuss the components of a flame arrestor, such as high thermal conductivity elements and channels or passages that absorb the heat of the burning gas or vapor. Then, we will cover the uses of flame arrestor. You will learn how flame arresters are used to prevent the ignition of gas or vapors, stop the propagation of flames, confine the fire within a controlled region, region, limit the spread of an explosion, and stop the spread of an open fire. Moving on, we will discuss the types of flame arresters. We will cover three main types of flame arresters, namely end-of-line deflagration flame arrestor, inline deflagration type flame arrestor, and inline detonation type flame arrestor. arrestor. You will learn about the unique features of each type of flame arrestor and when they are commonly used. Finally, we will conclude the lecture by summarizing the main points covered. By the end of this lecture, you will have a good understanding of what flame arrestors are, how they work, and their importance in various industries. Thank you for watching. Let's get started. In this section, we will be discussing everything you need to know about flame arrestors. Firstly, let's start with the basics. What is a flame arrestor? A flame arrestor is a safety device that prevents the propagation of flames through equipment that involves flammable vapors or gases. This is commonly used in industries such as chemical, petrochemical, refining, oil exploration, sewage treatment, and power generation. Equipment that involves flammable vapors or gases are potentially dangerous because if the vapors catch fire, the equipment can get burnt or explode. However, with the, with the use of a flame arrestor, this situation can be prevented. The flame arrestor inhibits the flame from propagating through the equipment, thereby ensuring safety. Now that we have a basic understanding of what a flame arrestor is, let's move on to the next topic. Welcome to the second topic in our video lecture series on flame arresters. In this section, we'll explore the principle behind how a flame arrestor works. A flame arrestor operates on the principle of absorbing the heat of burning gases or vapors, which reduces their temperature and prevents them from igniting again. This is achieved through the use of high thermal conductivity elements that are designed to absorb the heat and prevent the flame from propagating. The channels within a flame arrestor are designed to absorb heat, and the size of the channels is measured in terms of maximum experimental safe gap MESG, for a particular installation. The MESG is the largest gap through which a flame cannot propagate under test conditions. The sizing of a flame arrestor is crucial and depends on the area of application. The channels within the flame arrestor can be designed in various ways, including wire mesh, sheet metal plate, ribbon, and crimped metal. Overall, the principle of a flame arrestor is to absorb heat and prevent the propagation of flames through equipment involving flammable vapors or gases. This ensures safety in industries such as chemical, petrochemical, refining, oil exploration, sewage treatment, and power generation. Let's talk about various applications of flame arresters. Flame arresters are widely used in various industries and applications to ensure safety and prevent hazards. The uses of flame arresters are vast in range from preventing the ignition of gas or vapors to confining fires within a controlled region. In this topic, we will discuss the various applications of flame arresters. One of the common objects that use flame arresters is the fuel gas pipelines and storage tank vents. These pipelines and vents contain flammable vapors, which can ignite and cause significant damage. Flame arresters prevent the, ign the ignition of these vapors and prevent any accidents from occurring. The exhaust system of internal combustion engines also uses flame arresters. These engines produce flammable vapors, and if they come in contact with a spark or flame, they can ignite and cause an explosion. 
Flame arresters prevent these vapors from igniting and ensure the safe operation of the engines. Another application of flame arresters is in coal lining. Davy lamps, which are used in coal mining, use flame arresters to prevent explosions. These lamps produce a flame, and the flame arrestor prevents the flame from igniting any flame gases or vapors present in the mining area. Gasoline containers and safety storage cabinets for volatile liquids with flammable vapors also use flame arresters. These containers and cabinets store flammable liquids and can pose a significant risk of fire or explosion. Flame arresters prevent the ignition of the vapors and ensure safe storage of these liquids. In summary, flame arresters have various applications and are used to prevent the ignition of flammable vapors, can find fires within a controlled region, limit the spread of explosions, and stop the spread of open fires. From fuel gas pipelines to safety storage cabinets, flame arresters are essential safety devices used in many industries and applications. In this section, we will discuss the first type of flame arrestor, end-of-line deflagration flame arresters. These flame arresters are used in areas where the potential ignition sources are located outside of the system. This type of flame arrestor commonly contains a crimped metal ribbon which is used to inhibit the propagating flame. End-of-line deflagration flame arresters are normally installed in atmospheric type storage tanks as well as other process vessels and transportation containers. These containers may contain flammable vapors or gases that could potentially ignite and cause a fire or explosion. By installing an end-of-line decoration flame arrestor, it ensures that any flames or explosions are contained within the system. The design of an end-of-line deflagration flame arrestor typically involves using a crimped metal ribbon that absorbs the heat from the burning gas or vapor. This heat absorption causes the temperature of the gas or vapor to decrease, ultimately stopping the burning unless reintroduced to a spark source. Overall, the end-of-line deflagration flame arrestor is an important safety device that helps prevent the spread of flames in areas where ignition sources are located outside of the system. The second type of flame arrestor is the inline deflagration type. These flame arrestors are designed to confine the propagating flame within the system. The distance between the flame arrestor and the potential ignition source should be within the standard recommended pipe length to diameter ratio. This distance is relatively small for gases and vapors that burn quickly, compared to those that burn relatively slowly. For example, the distance for applications using a hydrocarbon air mixture is greater than the distance for those using a hydrogen air mixture. The inline deflagration flame arrestors are commonly used in industries such as chemical, Petro petrochemical, refining, oil exploration, sewage treatment, and power generation, where flammable gases and vapors are present. The inline deflagration type flame arresters have various designs for the channels, including wire mesh, sheet metal plate, ribbon, and crimped metal. They are only installed in pipes and ducts, at the inlet and outlet of pressure relief valves, and in gas storage tanks. Inline deflagration flame arresters are an essential safety device in various industrial applications to prevent catastrophic explosions and fires. The third type of flame arrestor is the inline detonation flame arrestor. This type of flame arrestor is used in situations where there is a risk of detonation, which is a type of explosion that propagates at supersonic speeds, carrying a shockwave in front of the flame. Inline detonation flame arresters are designed to stop the shock and prevent it from causing damage to equipment or endangering personnel. To achieve this, inline detonation flame arresters are constructed with a series of chambers or cells. The cells contain flame arrestor elements that are designed to quench the flame and stop the shock wave. The cells are arranged in such a way that they allow the gas or vapor to flow through them, but also create turbulence to disrupt the flame front and reduce the flame velocity. Inline detonation flame arresters are typically used in applications where there is a significant risk of a detonation event occurring, such as in the oil and gas industry. They are often used in pipeline systems to protect against explosions caused by gas or vapor releases. The sizing of the inline detonation flame arresters is crucial and is determined based on the maximum operating pressure, temperature, and flow rate of the system. 
proper installation and maintenance of inline detonation flame arresters are also critical to ensure they function correctly in case of an emergency. Thank you for joining us in this video lecture on flame arresters. We have covered a lot of ground from understanding what a flame arrestor is to its different types and applications. We learned that a flame arrestor is a crucial safety device that prevents the propagation of flames through equipment involving flammable vapors or gases. This device is commonly used in industries such as chemical, petrochemical, refining, oil exploration, sewage treatment, and power generation. The working principle of a flame arrestor involves high thermal conductivity elements that absorb the heat of burning gas or vapor, causing its temperature to decrease and stop burning unless reintroduced to a spark source. We also discussed the different types of flame arresters, including end-of-line deflagration, inline deflagration, and inline detonation. We have highlighted the importance of flame arresters and their various applications. These devices can prevent vapors from igniting, stop the propagation of flames, can find fires within a controlled region, limit the spread of explosions, and stop the spread of open fires. Some common objects that have flame arresters are fuel gas pipelines and storage tank vents, the exhaust system of internal combustion engines, Davy lamps and coal mines and coal mining, gasoline containers, and safety storage cabinets for volatile liquids having flammable vapors. In conclusion, flame arresters play a critical role in ensuring the safety of equipment involving flammable vapors or gases. It is essential to understand the different types of flame arresters, their working principles, and their applications. Regular maintenance and inspection of these devices are also necessary to ensure their effectiveness. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new today.